Today, we're going to talk about a sensitive yet important topic, understanding manipulation tactics and relationships. The goal of this video is to promote healthy relationships and personal growth through self-awareness and confidence. Remember, manipulation can occur in any type of relationship, and it's crucial to approach this topic with respect and sensitivity for all genders involved. One Common Manipulation Tactics To start, let's discuss some common manipulation tactics that people might use to influence their partner's decisions or behavior. By recognizing these tactics, we can better protect ourselves and our relationships. Emotional Manipulation Emotional manipulation is when someone uses emotions, such as guilt or fear, to influence another person's decisions or behavior. This could involve playing on a partner's insecurities, making them feel guilty for not meeting certain expectations, or using anger or sadness to elicit a specific response. Example, for instance, imagine a partner saying, if you really loved me, you would cancel your plans with your friends and spend time with me instead. This statement manipulates the person into feeling guilty about their plans, making it more likely that they will comply with their partner's wishes. Gaslighting Gaslighting is a psychological manipulation technique where someone causes another person to question their own reality, memories, or perceptions. This can create a sense of confusion and self-doubt, making it easier for the manipulator to control their partner. Example, imagine a situation where a partner repeatedly denies something that the other person clearly remembers, such as a conversation they had or a promise that was made. Over time, the person being gaslighted may start to question their own memory and believe their partner's version of events even if it is false. Playing the victim Playing the victim involves using guilt or self-pity to control another person. This can involve exaggerating or fabricating personal problems to gain sympathy and attention, or blaming others for one's own shortcomings. Example, for example, a partner might constantly complain about their difficult life, emphasizing how much they need their partner's support and understanding. This can create a sense of obligation in the other person, making it difficult for them to set boundaries or express their own needs. The silent treatment. Silent treatment is a form of emotional manipulation where someone intentionally ignores their partner or refuses to communicate with them. This can be used as a punishment or a way to force the other person to comply with their wishes. Example, imagine a partner who stops talking to their significant other after an argument, refusing to acknowledge them until they apologize or give in to their demands. This can create a sense of anxiety and desperation in the person being ignored, making them more likely to capitulate to the manipulator's wishes. Now that we've covered some common manipulation tactics, let's move on to the next section, identifying manipulative behavior. To identifying manipulative behavior. Recognizing manipulative behavior is crucial for protecting ourselves and our relationships. In this section, we'll discuss some red flags to look out for and strategies to help you identify when someone is being manipulative. Red flags. Here are some warning signs that might indicate manipulative behavior in a relationship. Your partner frequently uses guilt trips or emotional blackmail to get their way. They have a habit of denying or twisting the truth, even when confronted with evidence. They constantly play the victim making it difficult for you to express your own needs or concerns. They use silent treatment or other forms of passive aggression to punish or control you. Trust your instincts. Your intuition can be a powerful tool for detecting manipulation. If you feel like something isn't right in your relationship, don't ignore those feelings. Trust your gut and take a closer look at the situation. Ask yourself if your partner's behavior aligns with any of the manipulation tactics we've discussed. Seek advice. Talking to trusted friends or family members about your concerns can be helpful in identifying manipulative behavior. Sometimes, an outside perspective can shed light on patterns you might not have noticed. Remember, it's important to choose someone you trust and who has your best interests at heart. 3. Developing Extreme Confidence Now that we've discussed how to identify manipulative behavior, let's explore some ways to build your confidence and protect yourself from manipulation in relationships. Know your worth. Recognizing your value and worth is essential for cultivating self-esteem and confidence. Remember that you deserve respect, kindness, and honesty in a relationship. Remind yourself of your strengths and accomplishments, and don't let anyone undermine your sense of self-worth. Establish boundaries. Setting and enforcing boundaries is an important way to protect yourself from manipulation. Clearly communicate your limits, needs, and expectations to your partner. Be firm and consistent in maintaining these boundaries, even when it's difficult. Remember, it's okay to say no and stand up for yourself. Improve communication skills. Effective and assertive communication is key to preventing manipulation in relationships. Practice expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs openly and honestly with your partner. This includes standing up for yourself when you feel disrespected or mistreated, and addressing any concerns you have about their behavior. Stay connected with your support network. 
Maintaining friendships and connections outside of your relationship is important for your emotional well-being and resilience. Your support network can provide encouragement, advice, and a sense of perspective when you're struggling. Make an effort to stay connected with your friends and family, and seek their input when you need guidance. For overcoming manipulation In this final section, we'll discuss some strategies for addressing and overcoming manipulative behavior in a relationship. Confrontation If you recognize manipulative behavior in your relationship, it's important to address it directly. Discuss your concerns with your partner, using specific examples of their behavior that have made you feel uncomfortable or control. Be assertive and clear about your expectations for change, and give your partner an opportunity to respond. Seek professional help. Therapy or counseling can be beneficial for individuals experiencing manipulation in their relationships. A mental health professional can help you explore the dynamics of your relationship, develop strategies for addressing manipulative behavior, and support your personal growth and healing. Know when to walk away. Recognizing when a relationship is unhealthy and taking steps to end it if necessary is crucial for your well-being. If your partner is unwilling to change their manipulative behavior or if the relationship continues to be detrimental to your mental and emotional health, it may be time to consider walking away. Remember, it's important to prioritize your own well-being and self-respect over preserving a toxic relationship. In summary, understanding manipulation tactics and developing self-awareness and confidence can help protect us from unhealthy relationships. By recognizing these tactics, setting boundaries, and maintaining a strong support network, we can promote healthier, more fulfilling relationships in our lives. If you're experiencing manipulation in your relationship, don't hesitate to seek help and support from friends, family, or a mental health professional. Remember, you deserve a relationship built on mutual respect, trust, and love. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has been informative and empowering. Please feel free to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Take care, and see you next time.